Can you explain uh, Calvinism versus uh, Arminianism? Well, I already did that this morning. Uh, in, in one sense, I just opened the Bible, and that's what is there. Um, uh, okay, let me, uh, let me do it this way. Okay, I'm going I'm to give you a little test. Okay. Um, do you believe that God is sovereign in salvation? Of course, we went through that today. Do you believe God chooses who will be saved? Of course. Do you believe the Father draws? Yes. Do you believe that the, the Son keeps? Yes. Do you believe the Son raises? Yeah, it's all sovereign. It's all predestined. It's all established. Absolutely right. This is what the Bible says. Uh, do you believe that um, whosoever will may come? Yes. This is what the Bible says. Um, do you believe that God finds no pleasure in the death and judgment of the wicked? Yes. Uh, do you believe that uh, Jesus wept because sinners wouldn't repent? Of course. Uh, do you, are you willing to call all sinners to repent? And do you believe they're responsible if they don't come? Yes. Well, how, how, how do you harmonize that? I don't know. I don't know how to harmonize that. Well, you're, expect, you're asking too much of me. I'm not God. You want my little peanut pea pusillanimous brain to grasp that? Give me a break. It's not my problem. But the, the one thing I can't do is, is deny what Scripture says. Uh, this will comfort you. Who wrote Romans? This is basic Christianity 101 here. Who wrote Romans? Can't answer the question, can you? Why? All of Paul? All his vocabulary? All his heart? All his thoughts? All his words? All of God? And yet not mechanical? I'll, uh, since you did so well on that question, I'll ask you another one. <laughs> um, who lives your Christian life? God? So you want to hold him responsible for the condition of your Christian life? <laughs> Who lives your Christian life? This is pretty, it's pretty basic, right? You're doing it right now, every day. Who's living your Christian life? You say, I am. Really? You say, God is. I don't know whether you could convince everybody who knows you. <laughs> you can't even answer that question. Listen to what Paul said. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless, I live, yet not I. He didn't know either. <laughs> he said, this is the divine mystery. It's all of me and all of him, and what's wrong is me and what's right is him. In every major doctrine of the Bible, in every major doctrine, you have an apparent paradox that you cannot resolve. I know that I'm kept eternally secured by God, but I also know I'm commanded to persevere in faith. Two sides of the same thing. I know I can't be saved unless I'm chosen and called, and I know I can't be saved unless I'm willing to repent and believe. I don't have to harmonize it, but nor can I deny those things. And in the end, mark it, folks, in the end, God will get all the glory for every righteous thing that is done because it is all his work. So, rather than answering the question by removing your confusion, I just spread your confusion over a wider area. <laughs> and you rest in the fact that you don't need to grasp the mysteries that are clear in the mind of eternal God.